I had a request to prepare this song titled Main Kung Ho from Selena Boateng, eight full stem section for one of my stem clients. Then, during the preparation process, I got to realize there are a lot of staffs that have been playing it wrongly. Also, when it comes to the tones that they use, initially I was using some of the tones that were not matching, but now I've got the correct ones. The third mistake that I did is some of the oxes in this song are I, I don't even play them. You might be in the same shoe as mine, but thank God I've been able to recover and I want you to repent as well. So we're going to watch this video. Everything that is supposed to know when it comes to the intro, the verse, the chorus, everything, I'm going to teach you the correct thing. So with this, I want you to comment thank you even before you start watching and also like the video. A nice way of telling YouTube that you are grateful so they should recommend this video to others as well. For this song in particular, they use two different tones for the intro. They use horns and other tones, more like a sign switcher, something like that. So I'm going to first show you what they played for these individual tones okay so let's take the sign lead first and let's listen to exactly what they played at that point okay so listen to it Four. So that's what they play for the sign switch. And now let me show you the plugin that I'm using for that. I'm using Cork Triton. So look at the screen here. You see program here, come to browse, then move to lead signs and the category section. Then there's this part here called sign switch. So yes, play at the higher octave. You're going to find something helpful, okay? A tone similar to what they use in the song. So it starts from so. Then you move to me. Then it come to re. Move back to do. Then come to la. Let me take it again. So me re do la. That's the first pattern. So let's play it with a little bit of speed. You see that? So, mi, re, do, la. The next pattern is. La, ti, do, ti, do, ti, la. So, let me take you slowly. La, ti, do, Ti, do, ti, la, so. Now putting everything together. Yeah. 
you see how simple it is let's assume in your church you were a single keyboardist let me give you this advice you need to start using stems okay if you don't have multiple keyboardists in your church with this kind of song you can't play everything yourself okay it's very difficult so that's why i've prepared stems they're very affordable you can just inbox me then we talk about the price then i forward them to you but, but when it comes to the loops that i'm using you can get it for free just join my telegram channel it is called premium loops hub the link is in the description just tap on it and it will lead you to my telegram group okay that just by the way let's listen to the horns what they actually play there so we can also imitate okay when it comes to the brass there is the plugin i use it's called Contact okay, and the library I'm using inside we call this one section horns, it's a very popular one. So, when you open the section horns and the articulation, I choose a preset we call this one F O P I C R. You can see that on the screen, that's what I chose. So, this is actually what they played for the horns. Let us play it first in melody so we convert them into chords. So, this is what they played. So I'm actually playing re 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 mi do ti do 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 do. Play re four times, then you come and play mi. Then you come and play do ti do ti. You play it four times. So. So that's basically what you need to play when it comes to the melodies, okay? Now let's transform these same melodies into chords. We're going to have something like... You just relax. Let me show you what I'm playing. It starts from Re. So this is the Re chord. Fa, La, Re. That is the Re chord. So... Dun, 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 dun. Pam 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 da, 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 da. Then they come and play me This is the me called So T me So T me da, 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 da. Then they come and strike the me Do So from me you move to do chord This is the do chord Me so do After do you come to your T chord, Re, Fa, T, Re, Fa, T, okay? So this is a T chord, then you end with your Do chord, Do, 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 Mi, So, so everything put together, Re, 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 Mi, Do, T, Do, 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 So that's what you need to play for the intro in the middle of the song they came in with another interlude that we also going to look at it okay so let's listen to that part okay listen to it three four So, so they are still using the sign lead and the horns at this part. So let's listen to only the sign lead. What they play? They play this. Okay. So if you are musical inclined, you can see they are using pentatonic for this skill. So they played so la so. Mi re do la so so la so mi re do 
la su Okay, da 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 do 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 Just like that, that's what they played at the middle of the song, okay? Now, the other integral part that we can't overlook is the chord progression of this song, okay? The chord progression for your notice is very simple. You start from do, then you move to fa, come to so, then you come back to do. So it just do, fa, so, do. So that's the chord progression that you need to know. By the way, I've transposed the keyboard to minor says because the actual key is on B, okay? And I'm playing it on key F. So I've transposed it to minor says for your notice. So this is basically the sign lead, the horns, and the back end that you need. If you don't have more than two or three keyboards in your church, I recommend you to come for this term, okay? I'll give it to you for a very cool price that you can afford, okay? So let me leave you to practice what you just learned. If this video helped you, kindly recommend it to your fellow musician or share the link into the group that you are in so others can also relate and also enjoy as you have um, enjoyed, okay? So thank you for your time. God bless you.